Twenty four from verse nine. Then they will hand you over to endure tribulation and will put you to death. And you will be hated by all nations because of my name. At that time, many will be offended and repelled by their association with me and will fall away from the one whom they should trust and will betray one another, handling over believers to their persecutors and will hate one another. Many false prophets will appear and mislead many. Because lawlessness is increased, the love of most people will grow cold. But the one who endures and bears up under suffering to the end will be saved. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's write again endurance. 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 You are determined by how far you endure. When you are in a place where endurance is needed. Endurance is needed. What is the meaning of endurance? What is the meaning of endurance? It means your eyes can see the promise. When you endure, how hotelechi? Because you are sure of the destiny. You have got a clear visions. Our Lord Jesus Christ won us on that time. These are the times where hatred will be everywhere. The Bible says you'll be handed to tribulation. You won't decide to find yourself there. There will be a situation that you will find yourself there. And the Bible says because of the situation of hatred Many will be offended. There will be many offenses. I can tell you that it's already started. And this is supposed to happen in the end. In other words, we are in the end. There will be offenses. We will look at each other and blame each other. Christian, Christian community is also affected. We are pointing at each other with fingers. But we need to know that if we hold on enduring at the end there will be salvation. Look at this verse. Verse 10. It says what? At that time, many will be offended and repelled by their association with me and will fall away from the one whom they should trust. They will fall away from the God that they are supposed to trust. In other words, they will trust other things. They will 
there will be situations that will make you to not to trust God again. Look at the verse 11. It says many false prophets will appear and mislead men. But the verse which is important is verse 12. Because of lawlessness is increased the love of most people will grow cold. This shows that our Christianity can be affected when we realize that there are many we trusted are no longer on the way. There will be issues of offending each other. We need to check our Christian life. We need to check our character. Because endurance is needed. I, I found that if you can really be a Christian, you will meet one or two. Offenses will come. Things are coming your way. To challenge what you believe in. Why the Bible says, Why Bible is those who shall endure. It means there are tough times that will need you to maintain what you have received. Can you tell the neighbor, say, my friend, endurance will be your way out. If you don't endure, it is possible you can alter how you do your things. Your Christianity will change the way you pray, whatever you are doing, because you won't be trusting the one who's supposed to be trusted. There will be a fall away. There will be a fall away. One, one person was asking me, and say, if you are following wrong people, and that person you find is the wrong person is going to hell. Are you going to go to hell too? I said yes. Because what makes you not to find that this person is, is, is the wrong person? Because the Bible says you will be misled. You cannot go to heaven when you are misled. Because you are not trusting the one who is supposed to be trusted. I want to tell you what is going to affect you. us. I want to tell you what is going to affect you. us. Is the promises. We need to be careful that we are not supposed to focus on our promises so that we will be able to endure. Let's allow the promises to be fulfilled by God's time without looking on them. If not, we will find another way of getting those promises. This is the time that God have to give us strength to maintain the same level of our Christian life. Because temptations are coming. If we read James 1 from verse 3 to 4 we will find the work of endurance. James 1 Read from verse 3 to 4. Be assured that the testing of your faith through experience produces endurance, mm -hmm. leading to spiritual maturity and inner peace. And let endurance as its perfect result and do a thorough work so that you may be perfect and completely developed in your faith lacking in nothing. Can you hear that? Endurance is there as a process that makes us mature in the things of God. Listen to this. The Bible says, let endurance 
does its perfect work to make us mature. Can you read verse 3? Be assured that the testing of your faith uh -huh. through experience produces endurance, yes. leading to spiritual maturity and inner peace. Can you hear that? Amen. Spiritual maturity and inner peace. There's no peace around you. Peace must be found inside. There's nothing in this world that can give you peace. Peace must be found inside you. Tell me about peace must be found inside you, not outside of you. If you are searching for peace so around you, you will be disappointed. You will be offended. Allow that the testing of your faith which produce endurance must lead you to inner peace. Listen, it's tough around you but there is peace inside you. A Christian who knows where God is. Who knows his God. Can still be challenged around you. But outside is time. But because of endurance. We have got faith. To know that what has been promised. It shall come to pass. He will have peace inside He will understand that what is happening. Is temporary. Can I tell you this? Whatever you are facing. Is not there to destroy you. Is there to test your faith. To test your faith. So that you develop endurance. Out of that endurance. There is peace. That surpassing all understanding. Peace that surpassing all understanding. People won't understand. Why you are laughing. People won't understand. Why you are going through that. But you know that you can see what God has promised. That what you are seeing is coming your way. People around you, they are limited. Endurance tests you that your eyes can see what God has promised. I see what God has promised in your life but the present situation is telling you that it's over with you. That's why there's a rejection that you are going through. That's why there's a tough time that you are facing right now. But it's there so that you endure. He who endure will have a perfect peace. Will have victory. I assure you. As I assure you, I'm telling you that from today, what you cannot see in the spirit, you will see it. What God has promised, it will come your way in the name of Jesus. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Listen to this. I found that what devil wants to do, he just wants to give you attention. He, he wants to take your attention and give you a direction. He wants you to focus on the situation, not to focus on God who has given you a promise. He's making you to look on things that are not happening than the person who can create things that he said that it will happen. There are some people who are here today you are focusing on things and you are saying there is no way out. But I am here to tell you there is a way out. Because your God has already created what devil thinks you won't receive. I am here to tell you that what God has promised he will fulfill it. You just need to maintain your endurance is for a while. Endure for a while. It's 
devil is doing around is for a while. You are about to go through. You are about to break through. You cannot sit down and complain by what the devil is doing. Because God is about to open a door for you if you believe shout hallelujah. When I learned that, I began to laugh at my challenge. I began to see myself where I'm going than where I am. Because what devil wants to do, he wants to look at your stagnation. He wants to look at the opposition. He wants to look at what people are saying that what God is doing. Sometimes, God will allow you to go through is for a testimony. As is for a testimony. If we read Romans 5, verse 4, verse 4, it talks about the character. The character. Can you just read that verse? Romans 5, verse 4. And in Warren's uh -huh. proven, proven character, spiritual maturity, and proven character, hope, and confident assurance of eternal salvation. Can you hear that? Amen. Can you hear that verse? Yeah, Let's repeat you. that verse again, Mama. I appreciate it. And endurance, proven character, spiritual maturity, and proven character, hope and confident assurance of eternal salvation. Endurance brings proven character it is some position you to be presented fit for what God, God wants to give you. Let me say it again. Endurance, when you are busy enduring, you are in the pot of God. He's cooking you. It's, it's the heart. You are in the pot of God. It's proving you. And now from there, by the time when God releases you, you are fit for his possessions. You are fit for what he has planned for you. There, there are some people here. You are rushing very quickly. Don't rush. Allow those chains to chain you. The day you when you are free from the chain, no one will stop you. I don't know if you are hearing me. Don't worry about the delay. It is just there. Just to cook you. Just to deal with you. There are some, there are some things, things that God is removing from you that are not fit because of what God has asked sign you for. There, there's a purpose of God in your life. Are you hearing me? That, that God will never allow you just to take it before he deals with you. When you are done left and right, when you look like it's over, sometimes when, when God is dealing with your friends, begin to turn away because they are not fit for what God is about to do where you are going. Listen to this. Sometimes you need to accept a rejection from the people you thought they will help you because they are not fit. You don't need them where God is taking you. I don't know if you are hearing me. Hey, I, don't, I don't need you. I don't need you. I need my God. If you can't help me now, you cannot help me in the future. I don't know if you're hearing me. If you cannot help me now, you cannot help me in the future. There were some people in my life that, you know, they could not help me. And I, I you know, I was complaining, God, why? I thought these are the people who will understand what I'm doing. I thought they will understand what I'm doing. Because here I'm talking about Jesus. And they believe Jesus. And I realized those people, I don't need them in the future. You, you, are, you are just complaining about people you don't need. Because where you are going, they are not needed. And sometimes you find that you are trying, you are trying to maintain them. You need them. 
already has rejected them. He will never allow you to reach them. I've seen, I've seen that by Abraham. When God said, Abraham, I want you alone to leave your family. Abraham said, when I'm old, I can die on the road. Let me take the child of my son. But, but he, God knew that he didn't need that boy. He didn't need that man. On the road, there was a fight. There are some fights because there are some people you don't need them. Uh, I don't know if you're hearing me. There are some disappointments because there are some people you don't need them there. There are some people you don't need in the future. If you are hearing me, say I hear you. So don't try to try to make them to understand you. If they are rejecting you right now, don't lose your character. Be yourself. Just endure. God is about to assign you. He's about to bless you. He's about to lift you. He's about to raise you. If you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Can you just read that verse again, my brother? I think, I think we'll, I will stick on verses. And endurance, proven character, uh -huh. meaning spiritual maturity, and proven character, hope. And confident assurance of eternal salvation. Did you hear that verse? Look at this verse that I was like asking myself. <inaudible> the same, the same Romans 15, verse 4. Romans 15, 4. For whatever was written in earlier times was written for our instructions, so that through endurance and the encouragement of the scripture, we might have hope and overflow with confidence in his promises. Hallelujah. Read that verse again, Mama. I want, I want to speak myself on verses. Yeah, you say what? For whatever was written in earlier times was written for our instruction so that through endurance and the encouragement of the scripture, we might have hope and overflow with confidence in his promises. We must have hope. Amen. And overflow confidence. How can you have confidence when things are like that? What is written is for you to have hope and overflow with confidence. That is why, you know, here in Charisse, I don't want people who say, hey, I'm old, I cannot marry. I don't want such people. They was, uh, I will chase them this year. Because here, what is written here? It's for you to mm. have confidence. Is is what, what confidence does, it makes you young. Confidence makes you young inside. Outside, people think they know you. But inside here, yeah, you know you're a winner. Sometimes when you are defeated, people say, oh, we have got a history of that person. Not knowing that inside, with confidence, you are saying, I'm a winner. I don't know if you're hearing me. So, no, I don't forget when I was in UK. I met an old lady. She, I, was, you know, I was doing one-on-one -on -one in UK. When I started to go in UK, I was, uh, they asked me to do one-on-one, -on -one, so I said, what is that? She, she done with us. She, she she us, one one us. That day I was troubled. An old lady who's older than my mom. Me when I look at her, she came confidently. She was, she was walking like this. And came and sit. She was waiting for me to prophesy. I was just saying, Mama, Mama, why you have come to see me? Why you come she just said to me, oh, me, I want a husband. <laughs> you want a husband? <laughs> yes, yes. I had a, another boyfriend. 
but he was not a Christian. So I, I want God to give me a husband. So I look I around, around everybody was like, there's nobody, there's nobody was like of her age. But, but, but what the confidence she had. It, it makes me to say, God will give you a husband. She, she have confidence. That confidence, confidence challenge me and say, confidence you, Mama, challenge or, uh, when I come back here, you'll be having a husband. Because confidence open doors for you. Do you know that many people? If you have not endured, you can't have confidence. Amen. If you have not felt pain, you are always afraid of pain. I don't know if you're hearing me. But whatever that is happening to is to teach you to have endurance. To teach you to have endurance. I'm very happy that you people, when I look at you, your faces are telling me you're facing things. Your faces are telling me you are going through a lot. Just endure, you will smile. Just endure, you are going to smile. Very soon you'll you be smiling. I say, very soon you'll be smiling. Don't, don't lose your character by what has really bothered you. By what has really... I mean, when, I, when I look at you, I can see that. I can see you're, it's, it's tough. I mean, how, how can your face look like mine when you are younger than me? God wants to change your face. God wants to change your situation. You will laugh last. Blessings will come your way. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's read continuing. Let's go to Habakkuk. This is what we know. One to three. Chapter two. Habakkuk. Yes. I will stand at my guard post and station myself on the tower and I will keep watch to see what he will say to me. And what answer I will give as his spokesman when I am reprove, reproved. Then the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and engraved it plainly on clay tablets so that the one who reads it will run. For the vision is yet for the appointed future time. It hurries towards the goal of fulfillment. It will not fail. Even though it delays, wait patiently for it because it will certainly come. It will not delay. Yesterday I was, I was live with our third church. And one man asked a question like this. <laughs> he said, if a prophet prophesies you, and then nothing happened. Is he a false prophet? Is he a false prophet? So I explained to that man, I said, it might be meaning that the time has not yet come. Because if the prophet said this is going to happen, it makes you to have confidence. Your Christianity starts to change. You start to develop confidence. If you, pr you will pray one hour, you will pray two hours. And I also said, if you blame a prophet, I also blame you. Why you went there to be prophesied? How can you say this man is, the prophecy gave me is false? It, it means even you, you were false. To you, you lose faith. You lack faith. And you set your time. 
Kama mudi muli na uwele ya hai na kuevo tse. Look at this prophet. Levele la mo mo profita u. By the time of this prophet. Kana kwa mo profita u. There was a lot of commotion. Ne ona li uvule la ogunchi. Everybody was just saying, but why things are like this in why Israel? Israel? Look what is happening. We are suffering. He went to say, God, tell me what to tell And them. God said, hey, write this vision down. Because if you say it, Things will happen to make them to forget again. If it's written down and placed there, whoever passes there will read it that the situation is going through is bound to change. I don't know if you're hearing that. After this service, I want you to write something down. I don't know if you are hearing me. I want you to write something down. Because I was supposed to be writing it for you. So that when you read, you know that this is going to happen. So write it down. You write it down. What you are writing, it will happen. Just endure for a while. Just endure for a while. I don't know if you are hearing me. Just endure for a while. Soon you will forget what you were going through. Let me be prophet for you. By telling you that I'm on your pen. Write it down. What do you want God to change? What do you want God to bring? Write it down. Because what you are going through, the devil wants you not to see what you are writing right now. I say it will come to pass. I say it will come to pass. Can you read Hebrews 10? Verse 36. Verse 36. How many of you are going to endure? Lift up your hands. You are going to endure. Soon you will see results. Hebrews 10, 36. For you have need of patient endurance to bear up under difficult circumstances without compromising so that when you have carried out the will of God, you may receive and enjoy to the full what is promised. Amen. Endurance makes you to enjoy to the full what has been promised. Endurance demands patience. Don't rush things. Don't rush things. Don't rush things. I can advise people who are called. If you are called, you are in secondary. And you, you, you realize you are calling. When you pass matric or you are matric. Don't rush it. You have got a need of patience. Relax. Study something. Go to school. Yes, Do something. He who call you is a jealous girl. a total He's a jealous girl. He will never allow you to carry on if you want to use you on that time. The preparation. When is longer? It determines your calling to be bigger. The longer the preparation, the bigger the destiny. Just endure and see what God will do. Praise God. I wish 
I wish everybody is listening to me. Sometimes you don't need to change business you're doing. You move from this one, you come to this one. Stick on one thing. Endure all. And there will be a way out. I don't know if you're hearing me. Sometimes you don't need to Desire what other people are doing. Just do your own and see what God will do for you. And see what God will do for you. You have a need of patience. Someone will say, ah, you know what? Ah, you because now you are a pastor, you are known. That is why you are saying this. That's why you are saying this. I know the pain of God. I know the challenges. That's why I love pastors a lot. That's why I love pastors because I know the pain. Satan wants to hurt pastors. Always when you are going to pastors, you are going to someone who has been having a pain that he cannot tell you. Because if he tells you, he will be discouraged. I don't know if you're hearing me. Listen to me. People who succeed and stay there are those who have endured some pain, some, some challenges, challenges, some shame. shame. Went through a shame. If you want to stay there, allow whatever you're going through. Allow it to go through. And and go through it. it. Accept it. Don't worry about it. Enjoy it. It's not a problem. It's a program. In our program. You will pass through. I see you passing through. I see you passing through. There's a time you must go through this. One time um, I went to the US. And that time it was, uh, you know, it was summer. I was very much excited. And I said, I want to stay there until winter goes. I don't love winter. You know, when I came back here, oh my God. Because there it was very hot. So I could not take the blankets when I sleep. Because I was feeling hot. Now the coals enter me. Because the moment when I take the blanket, I have to shed because I have come back with the heat from the US. I don't know if you are hearing me. I began to understand the seasons. That seasons are there to prepare us. If you jump a season, if you defy it, it will kill you. I don't know if you're hearing me. There are some people you are defying winter and you need that winter so that when summer comes you'll be strengthened. Don't defy winter. Accept it. It's just there to position you and prepare you for a certain time. I don't know if you're hearing me. Can I tell you this? What you are going through is preparing you. Don't worry about this. Enjoy it. Be part of it. And very soon, God will announce you. I see God announcing you. I see God announcing you. I see victory this week. I see victory this week in your life. I say in your life. Can you tell three people that this week week, I will see victory. Prophesy yourself that if this is my week, I will see victory. Stop complaining. Say this week, I will see victory. 